Hello, welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I'm gonna focus on a question I've had a couple of times um, via email recently around how can you actually find out what font another website is using. So just to jump straight into it, say you're on this website here, for example, and you're scrolling down and you wanna work out what font they're using um, in these different areas. So let's just pick one, um, for example, here. So like this area just here, all you need to do is just make sure that you're hovering the mouse over the actual um, element and font that you're looking for. Right click, go to inspect if you're in Chrome um, and if you're in Safari or Firefox it'd be a similar sort of label as that. And then you want to check that you're actually on the right area. So if you hover over these different elements just here you can find out which one you're focusing on. So for us we can see it's this H2 just here and you can see that the text is the same. So if we click onto that and then scroll over to the side here you'll be able to see the different CSS and styling that's applied to this particular element. Now, the way CSS works is the more specific you are with the, the class names, the higher up in the hierarchy that CSS will apply. Um, but let's not get into that uh, too much right now. So all we're looking for is this part just here, but it could be that it's further down the page. Um, but let's say it's this one just here. We can double check that it's this particular font by unticking it just here and to see if it changes the font, so as we can see, that's changing the way that it looks. So we know it's definitely this font here. Um, so what you could then do is copy that font, um, paste it into a Google search and look for that font. So we can see here's the, the font over here. We can get it by clicking onto this. And then it looks like this one's a paid one. So it would give you options on how you can actually buy this font and the different types of uh, the weights and if it's italic or not, the different options for that font. Just one more point on this though. Um, if you can't find the font down here, you can just click across to computed and this will tell you all the CSS that's actually being applied onto this element rather than actually searching through individually. So if we just type in here font family, you can find it just there. And you can also see the, the previous fonts that have been applied to it um, in, that, in that CSS. So as you can see here, this one here is just the standard font they've got on that page um, from this CSS file just here. And they've got another one on the retailer class. And then there's more specific class just here that's applying to this specific element. So it's this class just here that's actually got the font. Um, but yeah, that's how quickly you can grab a font from a website. So if we were to try it again, this one over here, if we look at it, so let's go back to styles first. So we can see this is an H5. We can see the font family looks to be this one. So if we untick it, it hasn't changed. There's probably another one further down of the same. Yep, yeah, we can see the same font just here. We change that, it adjusts slightly. Um, if we tick them back, you can see that's the font. And if we go back to computed, font family, we can see it just there. And then exactly the same, you could then type that into a Google search and find that font to use. And if you've got any questions on, on this, um, just let me know in the comments. That's how you can find a font from another website that you really like and uh, start to use it. Um, well, first find it, download it or buy it and then use it in your own uh, website. 